there's a little bit of, because we can't go above the 30, so if things change in terms of actual rate take, that 30% becomes, yeah. So very, nobody ever sits right at that 30 because it's, you need to do it. Wiggle room. Yes. Yeah. So we've dealt with 18. You ready? Yep. Tell me, please. So I'm on to nine about Manuka plantations. If you're looking at that, they came in from Botha. This school talking about. Uh, uh, in the submission, I said that we had already expressed an interest. Can I have Councillor Shad expression? You know, that we had. Um, Council have encouraged this submission. Yeah. What next? Pardon? What next? What you want, want if, you want, if I want to grow an acre on my farm, I'll grow an acre on my farm. And and I'll give you some probably even need a resource consent to do so. No. So, you know, this has got nothing to do, in my view, really. I can't allow you to, to link between local government and growing an acre or an acre. You will notice that in Northland, the school has become involved in a big manoeuvre plantation. Yeah, and that, that becomes part of this. Councillor Van Roy. And last week I went to the Open Day of the Farm Environment Award winner uh, <coughs> uh, just east of uh, Tiamudu. Uh, on that day there was a presentation from Compita and there was a presentation in conjunction with Compita from the Kaharoa Nursery who are growing um, manuka big time uh, and they are trying to extend the flowering season of the plants and they are doing research in the best way of um, establishing uh, manuka in existing pasture and so on uh, and Compita and um, Kaharoa Nurseries were really free in giving their information on that open day so it's out in the open so I would suggest the information is already there. All we need to do is uh, contact Compita. Uh, they are actively going out right through the district and, and, and Vaya fields trying to uh, get more Manuka planted um, in support of the Germany, uh, industry. So I would, I would suggest we don't need to support it as a council. Uh, the information is there. And that's sitting out in there in which uh, maybe they can part in the SENA in with the nuclear or anything. But, but sitting in the recommendation that they said that the council has allocated an environmental production promotion budget of three thousand dollars. I'm not picking up the feeling that that is uh, that we you know, so that our reply on that would be that congratulations, we you know, if the farmers wish to be part of the Manuka trial. And it's better than dairy, well, so be it. One of the good things was that Mr. Andrew Thomas, our environmental project yeah. manager, he actually took me to that field day, so he's, yeah. he's got all the So, numbers. there is no promotion budget? Agree? Yep. Yeah. All right, thank you. Yeah, we thank you for your that, and we encourage you to talk to the farmers if anybody's interested. We're not, as I understand it, we're not going to go ahead with that, no, not out of existing budgets or extra. No, I'm just trying to work out where it's good. Hang on, I've just got opposite to so, so starting with. Mm -hmm. It sounds like the budget's unchanged. No, no, good. Right. 10A, young Trish, talking then, and which. I would compliment that. It was good to see a young lady coming in who was so passionate about Taru and the photos, and it was good. She has come through in terms of uh, Glenshi Park, looking at an indoor pool. That's, you know, I think we can say, hey, you know, it's a nice idea, but it's certainly not on our. On our Thank you for submission yeah. and her, for her ideas, yeah. but at this stage, Yes, no, I think I'm which you wish to both A and B. Yeah, yeah. I do too. But she, you, know, I, I, you don't want to discourage her, eh? No. Because no. <laughs> a young person like that has a breath of fresh air, really. Mm. Uh, 
But you know, I, I just sort of thought all along that with her, with her uh, proposals, there, there was, you know, I mean, she didn't probably understand that, you know, probably you need to have a cost or some sort of estimate or quote or, or idea of what's involved and, and whether it can be partly community funded and, and action, those sorts of things. But, so I think any response to her should be positive yeah. in the sense that we thank her for her ideas. I would like to see her join the concept plan of yeah. which where her ideas can be bounced around yeah. and uh, picked up by those others in there. Somebody had their hand up over here. Uh, Your Worship, just a uh, reminder that the, the way that the, um, the format that was written on these two, I didn't provide any response, I didn't have that guidance. All I did was provide some comments, so that quite clearly comments, I, would, I agree that whatever response needs to be about for a new written and for a new way to go. Congratulations, we believe then that there are no plans for an indoor pool she and the toilets that we will, uh, you know, Keep an eye on the standard of those. The toilet she was particularly talking about was the toilet at the end of the, the park that has, you know, to get in down, which aren't open all the time. You were sure, just a question, I, I don't know the answer to. Um, there was a lot of talk about the netball courts and the service of those. Yeah. Would that be the, I mean, I assume we have a netball club and they would be probably should be putting a submission if there's an issue to the court. So that, do they We've got a maintenance program on those, yeah, aren't we doing them up as we go, the netball courts? She said there were 300 people paying the, the night time on a Friday, Friday nights. nights. Yeah. Uh, I, I, but I don't know whether they're on those courts or yeah. whether there are other, yes. other... No, people. they're on those courts. They're up from me and which well, you know, we looked at... I thought we'd... We do, we've done some in Tokoro rolling, and yeah. aren't we looking at the table yeah. as well? We've spent an awful lot of money yeah. in... You were in my town on council. We did, didn't yeah. we? Yeah. yeah. But I hear what Craig's saying from the netball yeah. club that's yeah. saying there's something yeah. else. Yeah. Yeah. She's she never been on my way. The way I saw her thing, thing was it was a generic thing about the terror, the town she loved to live in. And you know, this, this was good, and this is not so good, and this. Yeah. So there were general comments that didn't really, well, I wouldn't call them submissions as such. Yeah. In, in my understanding, what the word submission mm -hmm. means. We're, and so I think that any response to, you're quite right, if, 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 if the netball people want better courts, then they need to come to us, you know, or the whoever's the users of she, she wasn't really, she was saying they were not good, but she didn't have, you know, she didn't yeah. have a plan for And had some the leaves on it, which are there for a while now. Now certainly, so I don't think we should yeah, say that we thank her, but okay, to, when we hear from the, the netball people, like we heard from the uh, T-Rail Tennis Club, and therefore we, you know, we responded and we actually did work out of that. Thank her there and uh, I think we can watch to see if the tennis, the netball people will actually come forward. I see them all up there every Friday night, but I haven't heard any complaints. Um, I'd just like to say that of the submissions read Benching Park, nobody has mentioned about the gym equipment and everything we put up there. Aren't they not used? I, I would have thought she would have picked it up on these. The gym equipment is. She won. My apologies. The pathway goes. Maybe I'm mistaken again. I don't know. Oh, better check. Better check. I haven't seen the gym. I think you will. Oh, so she did. That the pathway goes round one way. You discuss the pathway and you decided to make it a curve. Gravel, a gravel path for that yeah. rest of the path. So you actually made the decision on where it would go. You didn't wish to make it a concrete path on the further down. Don't you like it? All right. 11A, Mr. Young's other ones. Uh, council strategy that uh, we have looked at it and you're happy with the reply from Mr. Holtz. Are you happy, therefore, on the general note about uh, sports Waikato, that the relationship there. Can I ask um, where the Sport Waikato um, contract is up for renewal, please? It's in terms of the long term plan cycle. Yeah. Oh, we granted them a three year. Yeah, they get three years. I'm just asking when it's up for a renewal. Next year then. 2017. Yeah. So we actually do have a contract still with them yes. up until 2018. 
okay. okay. as part of our Then we won't be considering any changes yep. right. in the meantime. Okay. Thank you. Any comments, please? 16A is on the Domain Road Cemetery. This has been raised to me a couple of times in which when there are, are big funerals and they, they do park on Domain Road and the question was that, okay, could you mow and keep that little part on Domain Road outside the cemetery flatter that it could be used as an excess car park that gets used particularly when there are some tongues there. Um, and of course the comments from Mr Anderson were about you know, the reduced speeds, but our NZTA representative has told us that that bit of road is going to have reduced speed on it anyhow, isn't it, Mr? It is, yes. So the speeding won't be a, an issue. That will come down from 100k to 60k. So if that, if that comes down to 60k, that little bit of mowing is not budgeted. Are we suggesting to Mr. Anderson that to give them some parking and to tidy up that there, that it's about uh, 50 metres, might be pushed to be 50 metres, would be mowed and tidied. And can that be, I know that it's probably not budgeted now, but uh, it wouldn't be a terrible park within the budget, would it? Within the roading budget, we've got more flexibility. Um, it's just a case of um, consistency and um, also in terms of issuing and direction to the contractor. Are we asking it for it to be mowed? I think it's currently gets mowed twice a year. Um, are we now asking for it to be mowed four times a year, every month, every yeah. week? Um, yeah. what is so it's outside of the cemetery, are you asking? And yeah. that's in the rural area, isn't it? Yeah, it's in the, it's on so the So it just gets normal yeah. rural. Yeah, yeah. So, but yeah, outside the cemetery, which is out, a lot of people sort of come in and it's part of the general what do we do? What do we do at Tokoroa Cemetery? Do we do that more often? No? no? I, I drive past that cemetery every time I come to council and back again, and I think it's looking, I think it's looking, the area itself around is all looking very tidy. Mm -hmm. You think I, it is looking tight? I think it's, I think it's looking tight. Oh, okay. okay. And I think, so I think the, 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 the adjoining owners close to State Highway are doing the, I think they're doing the job over and above what the council yeah. lowers are doing. Yeah. Oh, so okay. I actually don't, I can't see a problem there oh, myself. Okay. But, uh, and they I, don't, but they don't mow, it's like, but they don't mow outside the cemetery, they mow on their side. Yeah. yeah. But you're saying, do you want, do, do you want to say to our contractors, mow outside the cemetery a bit more often? Yeah. Please. Not in a formal way. Uh, and, uh, I agree with what Councillor right. Taylor is saying. And I think the right. slowing of the traffic, I mean, we're doing something. Yeah, I think you can assure them that that is taking place. Yeah. So I'm hearing no change of level of service to the No change of level of service outside the cemetery? But let them know that there is a trial yeah. with the speed trial. All right. <coughs> This 17A is on noise control. Should we have a part-time noise control officer in Batarra? No, we have noise control which are now, but I'll get that, that under be first be security, as they also. After hours, after hours it is run by our uh, first security. Who are based here? Oh, well, they're based throughout the district and they respond until a gentleman recently became deceased. He used to do it frequently and he used to present to me almost on a monthly basis how long it took noise control to get and it depended with our uh, Arapuni and he'd say it took them 13 minutes to get to hear my complaint or it took 27 minutes to get my complaint. Um, he said he had never been turned down. Um, he complained once that they said they were an Arapuni and they got to him in so many minutes but they're going too fast. <laughs> well, I said, well, I'm never going to be happy. <laughs> Would it have been rude to ask how this gentleman died? Pardon? <laughs> <laughs> and it's, and, and uh, I have had one other lady then in a, in a, in a street in Tokoroa and talking about uh, noise control and, uh, uh, and the time. But it is after hours, it is first security, and they normally are able to tell people, look, I won't be there. 
you know, I mean, our opinion, it'll take me 15 minutes to get to you. So what, what would be the general basis of their contract? Were they, are they, like, if an incident is reported, they, do they have a duty to sort of be there within a certain specified yeah. time? Or? Yes. Yeah. Now, can I just add, though, the submission does not say it was after hours. Oh, okay. So yeah. we don't know, we don't have the information on that's clarified in the notes, so the environmental health manager will, after today's decision, contact you directly. Well, I think the draft response is satisfactory. Right. Okay. That, uh, but it is a problem because some of the people who do make noise after hours, you know, they had the complaint, they do it, noise control comes along, they've stopped, noise control disappears and 20 minutes later they start up again and, uh, uh, and annoy heck out of them. Alright, 34A is Mr Parker. How much would that cost to do? We've talked about um, the cost involved, but I don't know how much it is. I, through your worship, um, I actually asked um, the submitter to provide an estimate, and he hasn't been able to provide an estimate yeah. yet. So um, it's better to how long a piece of string is. What, and I think this is something if we do get into it, we need to be very clear on our scope of work. So we have a firm scope that does not run away with us. Um, so um, we need to be quite clear on what boundaries. If we did do something, what the boundaries would be, and be in notification. I think the I think the idea is great. I, I I really do. I think it's great. But I think the level of service that we provide is probably a little bit outside what we can afford to do. I mean, I think of the Hamilton Gardens and the beautiful. Japanese garden and winter gardens and all of those where people go and get married and the facilities there are fantastic um, but I think it's probably outside what we can afford. Maybe the marriage celebrants of Tokara can all get together and fund, fund some concrete furniture or something. Because <laughs> they're, 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 they're sort of going to be the beneficiaries. Yeah. Yeah. Just, to, yeah. just to clarify, we can jump from 17A to 34A because all those in between are PY out. Yeah. Right, so that we haven't missed out people, but they have, they are QI. So that's in terms of your merry rate. <coughs> Recognise that at one stage, and it's still in the books, the Timber Museum with its church and with its hall was you know, being touted as the possible wedding venue. And there's a resource consented for people also looking in our Benny rate, look at rate of Benny Rate. Uh, that, uh, you know, are you happy therefore over 34A that the yep. submission be is okay? Yep. Just as the first one, you know. I don't know whether, I don't know whether Ted's suggested reply that this is a project that council could be involved in. I don't think we've actually agreed to that. Well, we could be involved in it such that we said, here's, our, yes. here's, here's the site you could use at yeah. Lake yeah. Moana Nui. Um, and that would be an involvement by allowing you to use that site. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, that, yeah, perhaps that should be made more clear. And if you wish to run a church and baptise yourself in, in Lake Nine and Early, you could do that as well as part time. Provide the friends of the Lake to Early and the water is safe to be baptised. Thank you. Mr. Stephen Pierce, who's a uh, long time resident is now in Rangiura, has had has several submissions there. Um, the Taro Chamber of Commerce existed in the 1960s, 1950s, um, and has been was superseded by about three other committees. I'd like to move, sir, that the response by Mr. Smith is, is sent out pretty much what he says. Yep. Cameras, happy. Mm -hmm. Yep. Dog fees, happy. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. T Rail Cemetery. That is there and it was blasted. Thanks for the Pataru corner. I think that uh, thank you. When we put that there, we could say uh, uh, thank you for a 
You know, when people say nice things about us, we can say thank you for those nice things. So we want to add thank, a thank you to yeah. that response. Yeah. This was true for the year we talked yeah. about. That uh, again agreeing on 40F. Yeah. So just to, just to clarify, there is a generic thank you very much for your submission and so on, and then we and then we'll tell this because this will go out one piece yeah. of paper on the yeah. All right. And it will all be rewritten. It's the intent we're really looking for. Pensioner housing, that the comment there is again reinforcing to people it's quite amazing that that somebody's been around, we still have to keep telling people, like Paul Stephen, that okay, there's, you know, self-funding with our pensioner units. Um, and, uh, of course, they're happy with those initial comments. Yes. yes. I'm, Where's this little more money being set aside in next year's budget to maintain the maintenance? A little more money, does that it's, come from... It's in, it's in the staff submission. Oh, it's that one. Thank you. Lawn mowing. I guess it, it is, and I think that we received a report from Mr. Anderson the other day in which too, so often the, the work of council is almost judged by how they see what our contract is doing work. Um, they also know that uh, when I first read this, I thought he was talking about the lawn mowing around Rangiuri because he doesn't like his right on mower cutting his lawn. He wants somebody to push a mower. That's Stephen. <laughs> um, happy with that. That okay. You know, we are audited, but I think we could be. You know. The water park. Could that be a, you know, it does say that Ontario moving forward recognised the opportunity. I think they have recognised more than, you know, recognised the, the water park needs that upgrade and they are facing into that. You know, let them know, let Stephen know that there's something that the concept plan is conscious of and is placed on their agenda. I think there still needs to be something, whatever right. we do to it, it's still going to end up the same though as long as no one's yeah. looking after it. Yeah. And the same sort of thing goes with that upgrade, of the brick and the cobblestones. Just a pity that in the 1980s, every council in the country decided the cobblestones and pavements were going to be more beautiful than what we'd had traditionally. And uh, every council that I talked to was now realising that they settle, they do things, you know, and move. Food court, thank you for the about in the that. Can I just go back to this, please? Because in the meantime, the Potato Moving Forward project is a little way down down the track. I mean, we're not looking at this year or next year, or maybe into next year, but for the water park and whatever it is, and then we've got to um, build it and pay for it, etc. But in the meantime, um, there's going to be litter bins, there's broken pavers, um, weeds in the concrete and the pavers and all of that. And it does. I had a look at it just couple of, just last week, and it's a, it's awful. It's a mess and it's an embarrassment. So um, and and the water coming down, the dirty looking water track. Can't we do something in the meantime? I know it's been like that for a long time. Put some more aside. Yeah, yeah. they soak it every week to keep it clean. So yeah, well, it's, it's, nice. Nice. it's age. It's age marks. Mm -hmm. well, Mr. Anderson, tell us. Well, yeah. I bring it to council all the time yeah. about the condition of the water. Yes, they're not keeping up with the tidy. It's money. We can do it. We need it. But the cost yes. is a challenge. But nobody goes through yeah. and picks it. It's the wrong pump, but it. The water is there and... See, weeds sort of take a long time to grow. What, what's our re regime for weed control? And, I mean, I know it's mowed on a, a reasonably regular basis, but you look at the weeds through it and the broken pavers, what, yeah, what's our regime for that? And, um, I, I don't know, maybe there isn't anything we can do till we do something as a whole. Yeah. Certainly getting rid of the weeds is a... A knapsack of uh, roundup, and when you've done that, you can spray the moss on the roundabout papers as well. Yeah. I don't know, is there a one-off or? Yeah. 
The other thing too, of course, the post office isn't very good at, and that runs yeah. into the water park. Um, they're not very good at it around their area either. That's a bit of a mess yeah. too. Yeah. I don't know whether there is anything in the meantime, but. And how much will that cost and what's the impact on rates? We'll need to put some money in, will we? Or, and if we're not prepared to, we have to accept it. Yes, right. So, so is there a, what would the cost approximate be so that we can make that decision? Thank you, Worship. A knapsack full of a drop in spray doesn't cost much. No. Doesn't take much. There's yeah. probably some sitting on the shelf at, at the depot anyway, I suppose. Would the there be? Those are the... But then it's a labour cost and a... The um, idea of the cabbage trees is fabulous, but they're the worst things <laughs> for keeping tidy. Uh, They're picked up reasonably regularly. They, yes, they yeah. are, but there's always three or four or five or six always lying because yeah. that's the way yeah. cabbage trees are. You know, yeah. the, um, I think we're yeah. Are we hesitating because we know that it's going to be happening? It's going to be yeah, upgraded. I think so. And uh, what can we do at Council of Shannon to say, while we're waiting for that upgrade, we can't just grow everything? But what's great upgrade going to do if we don't maintain it? If, it's not, if we can't maintain it now, and the upgrade yeah, is still going to end up covering moss and grass and support. I, I, think, I think that's part of the submission. That once, once we agree or we do agree what you want to do in the tariff based on that tariff moving forward plan, yeah. you resource mm -hmm. it accordingly and you can institute yeah. appropriate mm -hmm. levels of service. There's nothing that was kept. So can we have an increased level of service, particularly around, because it is the central town, and that's spraying around, and as I asked you, by the time you walk out of Poonty and spray there, you can continue walking into the tower and do that. <laughs> yeah, it's good to go past one place. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's good feedback, and I'll pass it on. We'll All right. Look at the game a little bit. Okay, food court that... Uh, it's a commercial business and moving forward we'd like to have a concept plan but uh, yeah, we can't comment much on that. Much the same about the Patara Hotel. Happy with those comments? Can we just take out that last sentence on Stephen Pierce's The Food Court? On both of them? It's not council's role yeah, in the yeah, yeah, I'd like just to see that drawn. All right. Thank you. So and it's also on the next one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and the next to That person must still be pretty mobile. <laughs> he walks the town every day. Okay. Yeah. Well, he's been chairman of Pride and Terror, and he's just continued to. Yeah. His father. father. His father was a previous mayor of the town, oh, right. and mm. had the shoe shop. Mm. Uh -huh. Two totally different people. Two totally different people. Oh, no, you're a different father. Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Happy with the comments there. The private section. Any further comments on any of the comments from Stephen Pierce? I will say that, uh, and I know things are ongoing there, but that um, section up in Princess Street is, it's never been marvellous, and um, the, the trees there have got too big, and um, it's just a dreadful little square in the middle of town, who yeah. nobody ever looks after. But that's a uh, lion stood it originally, did yeah. and then I'd give it to council. And um, well, they couldn't give it to council. No. It wasn't council. They just cleaned up the zip. Yeah, and said here, and yeah. nobody has been back to it since uh, it was first yeah. done. Yeah. 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 We're addressing it through the same. Long time, so it needs. Sorry, you were there several times in the last few months. Thank you. Um, they can't bring the trees down a little bit. No, well, like okay. let's hope the rating sale takes place quickly. Oh, then. absolutely. All right. Yes. Thank you. Heather. Sorry. Um, Heather Spinley, in which there's no reply there from that. Mr. Uh, Smith hasn't put any replies, but I think the whole of hers is in terms of, of the, that, that we refer her to, to be part of the T-Rail traffic plan that is addressing these all the issues that she has raised. Any Mr. comment? Smith, is that what you plan to reply to Mr. Spinley with? Um, so the plan was that we would do up a one, 
like an info sheet um, on the T-Rail traffic and that would get sent out to everyone yeah. who submitted on the T-Rail traffic. So, yeah. so that came along the T-Rail and would handle that just generally. All right. Fluoridation, the next two are on fluoridation. And uh, of course, the, since these have come in, in which it's now District Health Board, Enviro Schools on 54A, between 44A and 54A, uh, more on to my health. Does the food revolution pilot cost us anything? Mm -hmm. yeah. I hope you'll contribute. Right, <laughs> that's 59A in which that's the, that you're happy with there and we continue to support. We have the one on Manfield Street. Manfield Street was one of those strange areas that it was, it was a subdivision under the days of the Tokarau Borough Council. The owner well, the subdivision people actually went bankrupt. But that there council had a, the borough council at the time, and that's why it has a, a narrow footpath rather than a full width footpath on what was taking place, and why there was no curb and channeling, you know, in there because normally it's part of the, the subdivision. If it was a subdivision, those the subdivider pays, you know, for that. So that goes back more years than I can remember. Some of you might remember when the subdivision on Manfield Street took place. Oh, it's a new subdivision, that one. Pardon? It's a new subdivision. <laughs> I do remember. <laughs> I do remember, but I don't remember. Yeah. And so, you know, it's just it's on the urge, on, on the verge of urban as well as the comments we're making, and so... Uh, so are we ever going to look at... Um, because it leads from one... Curb and channel area to the next curb and yeah. channel, you know, story. So eventually, are we ever going to? Well, tradition, I think we've had this sort of thing in my time, three or four times, but uh, you know, how long? Because it went bankrupt back then, and that thing didn't take place, but now 20 or 30 years has moved on. It's the only. And we, is it well, the only street in town that isn't curb and channel? It, it, depends yeah, whether you, it depends whether you say that, okay, it's on the fringe of urban and rural. There are no rural ones that are curved and channel, is no. it rural and urban? And it's been one of those that has fallen into So what that. is it? it it's just, yes, it's on the fringe of urban and rural, but what is it zoned? Yeah. Is it zoned um, urban? Residential. Residential? residential? Urban? I so it's residential, so yeah. a few new houses built there in the last year or so. Yes, yep. And I also note um, there's been one house in particular that's been up on, on drums for a, a long, long time. Yeah, it has too. I, thought, yeah. I didn't think you were able to leave that house. Uh, I said the truck was back there the other day. I think it may be gone. <laughs> oh, exactly. I haven't been around for a while. Yeah. We couldn't, couldn't drill the holes from the piles because of the rollout, so yeah. Yeah. we may have had to move it off. Hey, yeah. I would just like to see it go on to the work program 